digestion in human beings. Human beings take food through mouth and digest it in specific organs for digestion. The undigested food is defecated. The food we take passes through a specific canal which begins with buccal cavity and ends at the anus. This canal is called elementary canal or the digestive tract. The parts of the elementary canal are buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, rectum and anus. The food gets digested gradually as it passes through the various parts of the tract. Digestive juices secreted by the salivary glands, liver and pancreas also aid digestion. Mouth and the buccal cavity Food intake in human beings is through mouth. This process of taking food is called ingestion. Chewing food is very necessary for proper digestion as digestion process starts in the mouth itself. What happens during chewing? The large pieces of food we eat are mechanically broken down into small pieces. Teeth helps us in doing so. Action of saliva on food During chewing, food mixes with saliva. Saliva is secreted from salivary glands located on the lower jaw between the tongue and teeth. Saliva converts starch in the food into sugars and also softens the food. Tongue Taste of food can be detected by the taste buds present on the tongue. Tongue is a fleshy muscular organ attached to the floor of the buccal cavity. It is free at the front and moves in all directions. Taste buds appear as small bumps on the tongue and have different regions which help us enjoy different tastes. Esophagus or food pipe The swallowed food from the mouth passes onto the esophagus. The epiglottis, which is a flap-like structure behind the tongue, directs the food into the esophagus and prevents entry into the larynx. The peristaltic movements of the esophagus helps the food to move down the tract till it reaches the stomach. Stomach Stomach is a bag-like structure with thick wall. It is in the shape of a flattened U and is the widest part in the elementary canal. The food that enters the stomach is churned and mixes with the mucus. Hydrochloric acid and digestive juices secreted by the inner lining of the stomach. The acid helps to kill the bacteria present in the food. It also makes the medium in the stomach acidic. The digestive juices secreted by the stomach break down proteins into simpler substances. Then the food is emptied into small intestine. Small intestine Small intestine is a highly coiled structure and is about 7.5 meters long. As soon as a small intestine receives food from the stomach, the digestive juices from liver and pancreas are mixed into it. Liver Liver is the largest gland in the human body and is situated in the upper side of the abdomen to the right. It is reddish brown in color. It secretes bile which breaks down fats. Bile is stored in gallbladder between meals. Pancreas Pancreas is a leaf-shaped and cream-colored gland located just below the stomach. It secretes pancreatic juice which acts and breaks down carbohydrates, proteins and fats. After this is completed, the partially digested food reaches the lower part of the small intestine where intestinal juices, 
act upon the food and completes digestion of any remaining components in food. The carbohydrates in the food break down into sugars like glucose, fats into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins into amino acids. The food consumed is digested and is now ready to be absorbed into the blood. Absorption of food in the small intestine The inner wall of the small intestine has finger-like projections called willi, which have a network of thin blood vessels close to the surface. The willis increases the surface area of absorption and absorbs the digested food materials. The substances thus absorbed are transported through the bloodstream to different organs in the body and are used to build complex substances like proteins. This process is called assimilation. In the cells, glucose breaks down into carbon dioxide and water with the help of oxygen and releases energy. The undigested and unabsorbed food enters the large intestine. Large intestine. The large intestine is wider than small intestine and measures 1.5 meters in length. Once the undigested food enters the large intestine, it absorbs water and some salts from it and passes the remaining waste into the rectum. Here it remains as semi-solid fecus. The fecal matter is removed through the anus. This is called ejection.